What is up YouTube? It's your boy Tashan24. Welcome back to my channel and today is a exciting day. We have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Season 1 drop. We have Warzone 2.0 that just dropped. We have DMZ that's dropping. We have so many different things going on and with that comes a new update. So last night we tried to update the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh warzone update which was about 30 gigs if you already had the campaign in multiplayer however it just took so long to download it i just gave up i assume because everyone was trying to download the same file it was just system overload so this morning i went ahead downloaded it was super fast got into the game i did some testing and this was my latest benchmark i'm just going to throw it up on the screen here as you can see, if you've been following my past videos, uh, the frames I've been getting with the hot fixes that Nvidia has put out has been about 130 to 180 as the highest I've ever seen. However, with the new update, I've seen almost 200 frames per second, which is amazing. I've also noticed a lot of great things with the stability of this version uh, of update from Call of Duty. Uh, so there was no driver update needed at, the, at this stage. And then also uh, better frames, no game crashes, great stuff. And then Nvidia secretly updates, a drops a new driver update. And then Nvidia goes ahead and drops a secret hot fix yet again. So we're going to go and test this and see how it performs. And if I see great things, I will definitely recommend. That's what my whole channel is all about, is to help you get the best gaming experience for Modern Warfare 2. So now we've been almost, if you guys have been following me, it's been a two weeks journey. And now we're here to test out the newest version. This is not officially posted on Twitter anywhere you would have to be <laughs> like me having the Nvidia page bookmark and regularly checking and I had a feeling because the new update went live for Call of Duty there may also be an Nvidia driver update because usually they do that on a weekly basis around this time so the best thing to do I will drop a link in the description uh, now the update would be based on your GPU series so what you're going to do is the link is nvidia.com slash g4 slash drivers i will paste this in the description so that you you can just directly uh get to this page once you're on this page you want to make sure you choose your product type so mine is a geforce uh product my product series is a 30 series my product type is a geforce 3080 operating system mine is windows 10 i chose language as english download type as all and you're going to click search all right, so once it's done searching, go ahead and scroll down. You'll be able to see the latest driver updates. So even if you have issues with previous updates, you can always go ahead and revert back to an old one that, where you found was much better uh, in terms of gaming experience. But we're going to go ahead and check out the latest update. This is the GeForce Game Driver uh, Ready Update. This is for driver version 526.98. This was released today. So we're going to go ahead and download this. It should start downloading. Oh, I'm going to click it again. I don't know why they would have two different versions of the update. All right. So we've gone ahead and downloaded the new uh, driver update 526.98. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. So although I have seen some improvements in gameplay already with the Call of Duty update that went live yesterday, uh, we're going to go ahead and also update the driver to make sure we get the most optimized version of the game. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and choose the NVIDIA graphics driver and GeForce experience. So the first one, we're gonna go ahead and click agree and continue. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I choose the express recommended. I'm gonna click next. Now it's installing. All right, so my shaders have been installed and I just realized they just dropped Warzone 2.0. I'm pretty excited to play it, but we're gonna go ahead, go into multiplayer so that we can go into the benchmark section. We're gonna quickly do a test. So I haven't made any changes to my settings. Uh, since the driver update and this is the benchmark I was getting before the update and this includes the update from last night that ha included the warzone update um, so this is what I was getting let's do another test and see what I'm getting with the new driver update 
found. All right, let's see what I'm getting. Okay, so we are getting 200 frames per second. That's good. No changes there. If anything, it might have dropped a little bit, but that's also because of you, you got to play around with the in-game settings. I'm getting about 15% bottleneck on the CPU, 85% uh, on the GPU. Uh, not bad. Definitely improved. I usually get 99% here and like 1% on the CPU. So there's definitely some changes that has improved there. Uh, this I noticed is also an issue. Render resolution. I don't know why it's set at 50% even though my graphics setting is set to 100 so i'm not sure where i don't know if that's wrong or something else is going on please let me know in the comments if you if you have an idea but that's what i see there again gpu driver update it's the newest latest version 526.98 i am using nvidia dlss performance at 100 percent uh i'll just quickly go over my graphics settings so you guys can see what i'm what I'm using to get to that 200 frames per second. So I have a 1440p monitor with a 3080. Uh, everything here is nothing really to change much other than the custom frame rate limit. I've put mine to 300. My menu is capped at 60 so that my GPU doesn't go crazy. Uh, out of focus, uh, custom rate set to 30. And then we're going to move over to quality. Yeah, and the focus mode is off. Uh, in quality, I have the DLSS turned on. I've tested every single preset, and I'm telling you guys, DLSS is the best one to use, uh, at least if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. And then in terms of the actual preset for NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA DLSS, performance works the best. Balance and quality, little to no difference. So I suggest you go with performance. Sharpness, I set it to high, 100 and then let's take a look video memory at 90 texture resolution normal texture filter normal nearby level of detail high distant level of detail high uh short low uh, particle quality normal bullet impact i turn this off shader quality is medium tessellation near uh terrain memory i have it at max i have turned off my on-demand texture streaming don't need that uh streaming quality to normal uh medium turn these two off shadow map is normal uh and then the rest is pretty much off or low same here normal low off uh, nvidia reflex low latency i have this as on don't unless your cpu bottle is bottlenecking over 60 percent i would turn this on so you can put more resources towards the gpu mine is the opposite i'm seeing what 15% on my CPU, 85 on the GPU. So I choose on, leave it on this if that's if you're getting similar um, results. These are all turned off. And then lastly, my view. This is a personal preference, uh, but one thing I noticed in terms of recoil, setting your field of view to 120, uh, ADS field affected, and your weapon field of view uh, wide that tends to help me kind of control recoil. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, it works. And then my camera is 50%, 50%, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, so based on that, this is the, the results I'm getting. Uh, you can try it yourself. Please let me know what you, what you think. Has the new driver update helped your performance? Uh, play some games, see if your game crashes, all of that stuff. Uh, but that's it guys. I just wanted to make a quick video on this latest update. Nvidia doesn't do a good job uh, showcasing the newest updates. So it's I try my best to keep you guys informed and updated. Uh, so let me know in the comments below if it's helped you. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one if there's another update. Uh, always uh, Also check out my Twitch channel, Tishan24, and my Twitter page. Uh, I always uh, stream Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time in the evenings. Uh, so definitely check out my channel, stop by. And uh, if you have any questions about the game, anything to do with optimization, uh, you know, ask me there if i'm live if not there's another solution i'm not sponsored by them i have yet to use their service but i am on the fence too it's called sense quality uh they optimize your pc as well as optimize in-game settings to make sure you're getting the best out of it definitely give uh check them out if you're still having issues uh 
even the smallest little change you make in game settings or outside in terms of your PC tuning can make a huge impact on your performance of the game. So make sure if you feel like you're stuck, definitely check them out. Maybe they can help you. Uh, and, and let me know if you do end up using them. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed their service and if they've been able to help you. Uh, but other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day. Goodbye.